So I'm sure by now most of you probably know that I am a stationary addict. Yeah, there's no denying it. So as any stationary addict would, I typically go on the internet looking for some stationery. Whether that's on YouTube or Amazon or Pinterest or Instagram. The number one thing that always seems to show up are the zebra mod liners. And I'm going to be honest here, I myself own about 20 of these and I've been using them for almost three years now. But back when I got them, they definitely weren't as popular as they are now. You could barely find them on Amazon and you definitely could not find them here in the States. But recently they've been starting to pick up and now you can find them almost everywhere. And it really got me thinking, you know, are these zebra mod liners maybe possibly even a little overrated and in this video i'm going to be trying to answer that question using my own honest opinions of these mod liners and comparing them with a really famous brand of highlighters that are found here in the states which are the sharpie brand highlighters so if you're still watching this video then i'm gonna assume that you're probably very curious about the comparison between the famous zebra mod liners and the generic highlighters which let's be honest you can probably find at the dollar store so before you skip through this video let's just get straight into the comparison so first things first i wanted to compare the nibs on both the highlighters and visually speaking the chisel tips on both the highlighters were actually very similar only main differences I could find on the highlighters is that the nib on the generic highlighter is smaller and it is also a little pointier than the zebra mod liner but other than that I think that both of them were pretty similar so since the nibs of both the highlighters were extremely similar I had the mindset that the swatches of both the highlighters were going to be very similar as well however I was completely wrong the nib on the generic highlighter is very soft and flexible allowing for more pen pressure and frankly more carelessness. With the Zebra Mod Liner on the other hand, it's the complete opposite. The tip is very hard and firm, allowing you to be more cautious about the pen pressure and damaging the highlighter. And finally, it was time to compare. So I used a fine liner, a gel pen, and a pencil to test out which one would smear more and which one would bleed more. And I also used yellow because it is the brightest and the lightest out of all the colors I had available to me, making it more prone to smear. So here are the results and I was genuinely shocked to find not that the Zebra Mod Liners did so poorly, but that the generic highlighters did so well. Because like I've mentioned previously, I've been using the Zebra Mod Liners for almost three years now, so I've definitely encountered a bunch of moments where the Zebra Mod Liners have smudged. But I really wasn't expecting the generic highlighters to do much better than that. So it was a really big shock when I found that the generic highlighters barely smudged at all. Looking at these tests, it's clear that the generic highlighters did much better than the Zebra Mod Liners. So after seeing these results, I wondered if the results would possibly change if I used a darker color. And the results were pretty shocking because it turns out if you use a darker color with the Zebra Mod Liners, then there's actually very little to no smudge. Also, I wanted to mention that both of these have very mild to no bleed. Now that the comparison is over, I want to discuss my honest pros and cons with each of these highlighters. Starting with the Zebra Mod Liners, my pros for these are number one, they are extremely aesthetic. From the packaging, to the variety of colors, to the overall model of the highlighters. However, this does mean that it comes with a pretty expensive price tag, ranging from about $1.50 each. On the other hand, these highlighters are double-ended and it does come with a fine tip which is great to spice up your notes. However, quality-wise, they aren't too much better compared to the generic highlighters, and some may argue even worse. And even though the company claims to have released 25 different colors, in my opinion, I think some of those colors are a little too similar. Even though up close there is a pretty notable difference, I argue looking far away there really isn't much of a difference. 
However, I do have to give the company credit for choosing some of the prettiest highlighter colors I've ever seen. For instance, with the color yellow, I was genuinely shocked to see that the mild liner yellow was significantly different and prettier than the generic neon yellow highlighter. And I did notice something unusual about these mild liners, which I've never noticed before, but after highlighting, they actually give some sort of a grainy effect, which I thought was interesting. I've never noticed before. I don't know why this happens, but I just thought it was noteworthy to mention. Moving on to the Sharpie highlighters, my pros for these are number one, they are super inexpensive, coming at around 50 cents each. There's also very little to no smear, which is awesome for the price. Also, there's so many different types of these highlighters. They're skinny, there's fat, there are the fat with the windows, there are skinny with the windows. There's just so many different types of these highlighters which you can't get with the mild liners. My one complaint with these is I wish it came in more colors and if the colors were more pastel or not as bright. Other than that, I really don't have any complaints with these highlighters. So to answer your question, are zebra mild liners overrated? In my honest, honest opinion, I think they are a little overrated. Obviously, since there are clearly cheaper and better choices out there, but does that mean I'm going to stop buying them? Definitely not. I love the mild liners so much. I think they are such a great product. My number one reason why I love them so much is because of that fine tip. It's incredibly useful when it comes to note taking. They are my key to spicing up my notes, to making them look aesthetic, to making them easy and efficient. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you are to take anything away from this video, then please remember just because someone has a product does not mean you also have to have that product to be successful. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye!